The Show Show Dilemma is a 2020 American docudrama film directed by Jeff Olosky. So it explores the dangerous human impact of social networking with some interviews and some drama in the film. And Professor, you wrote an essay, The Hypocrisy of the Social Dilemma. So why yeah. you say this is hypocritical? But before that, let's say, what do you think is good about this movie? <laughs> All right, so the movie talks about three major problems uh, of the new media in general and the social media in particular that are very real problems. Uh, maybe the biggest problem is, is the addiction. Uh, the, these media are set up in a way intentionally uh, to make people spend as much time as possible on these media and that creates a lot of addiction and a lot of psychological and also sociological problems. Uh, so that's a very real problem and it's important that the movie addresses this. The second thing the movie addresses equally well-known problem of the social media which is surveillance society, um, surveillance capitalism. Shoshana Zuboff who is interviewed in the movie also wrote a book with this title uh, it's about, you know, uh, how uh, basically the social media mine human beings for data and surveil everything uh, people do uh, and then commodify it, make money with it. And uh, as, is, uh, as it is often said, they take away uh, people's privacy and, and make them just a commodity. So um, that's, of course, also something that is a major problem. And it's good that the movie points that out. And the third area that is very uh, problematic is the fake news theme. Uh, so there's a lot of um, fake news uh, that is used for all kinds of uh, sometimes sinister bad uh, purposes. Uh, so that's of course also a fact. And uh, all these three issues uh, are very well known and the movie popularizes them even further. So that's basically a good thing, right? If, if some people check their media habits, you know, use their, their iPhones less, that's already a good effect. Um, but generally, I would say, also we're talking about the specific problems later, these problems are all, already very known and the movie treats them in a kind of simplistic manner. Uh, and as we see in a kind of screwed way, uh, that is quite problematic. So I would say generally the movie is, is a good movie for stupid people who hadn't been aware of these problems yet or weren't aware, even though they should be very much aware of it. For someone who wants to get like a, a more critical understanding of all these uh, three issues and other issues connected to them, uh, the movie is not very good because it, it simplifies matters too much and, and, and lacks basically a truly critical approach both to uh, the media as such and uh, specifically in a self-reflective way on uh, reflecting uh, how itself functions uh, within the media because it's a media product itself. Yeah, so with all those good things said about this movie, so to the main theme, so what is hypocritical about this movie? The main hypocrisy is very obvious and if you check Google, which I did, um, the, the first thing I, I did before I was writing uh, the text about it, that, well, that's why we're having the interview, uh, was uh, I was checking the reactions of people and a lot of people uh, observed this hypocrisy. One of the first comments I saw was by someone who said, um, well, the, the movie is mostly about how AI, artificial uh, intelligence, is misleading us through recommendations and the movie itself was recommended to me by Netflix, right? Of course, this is why most of the people watch it, because they are, they are le led to watching the uh, movie uh, through recommendations. So this already shows the hypocrisy. And so the hypocrisy is, is of course, also that it's a, it's a Netflix movie, right, which is itself a major player uh, in the new media. So it basically pretends, the movie pretends to, to free fee people from being manipulated by the media, uh, but its intention itself is, of course, to manipulate people in a certain way. Uh, and to, uh, we can talk about that later, what specifically it manipulates it too, but it, 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 it tries to promote a certain message, it, it tries to promote Netflix and so forth. So there's a lot of manipulation involved paradoxically uh, in the attempt to f set people free from 
uh, manipulation. And then it talks about, you know, the excesses of capitalism, but it's clearly intended to make as much money as possible. Yeah. Then is very much promoted as a must-watch movie uh, that you need to watch in order to watch less on the media. That's, of course, also hypocritical and paradoxical, right? Uh, that it, on the one hand, addresses um, this, this addiction issue, uh, but then is made in a kind of way uh, that, that, that tries to make as many people spend as many time on Netflix as possible. What are the three main lies? Oh, the three main lies of the yeah, movie, yes. Um, yes, the, the three main themes, if you look at it a little bit more theoretically, uh, are one that I mentioned already, manipulation. Um, the, the movie uses a lot of imagery. That's mm -hmm. also the part of the dramatization uh, where we have this young man who is manipulated by some tech company uh, that is trying to, again, like spend him as much time as possible on his phone. Uh, so th this is this image of the tech companies are um, uh, manipulating uh, uh, people. Uh, and then the, they also use the imagery um, both on the website and of the movie and on the movie in the movie itself of strings like you know puppets on strings. Yeah. What the movie then implies is we have to get rid of this manipulation. Uh, so as if it would be possible to have media that do not manipulate. Uh, but that's not true, right? All media in one way or another manipulate. This movie too wants to manipulate us in a certain way. It wants to tell us a certain story about the media and so forth. Namely the story, for instance, that there can be a media without manipulation, which I think is not true. Uh, all media spreads information. Information is always selected. You can never present uh, the whole picture. So you always select for a certain purpose, with a certain intention. Uh, in order to spread a certain message and also in order to influence uh, viewers in one way or another. So uh, all, all media productions are in that sense partial, right? They are partial in, in the double sense that they do not present the whole thing, uh, only a part, because it's all, all information is always selected and has to be. Uh, and then secondly, it's partial in the sense that it, it tries to, to tell you one thing and not another thing, or at least one thing more than another thing. Highlight this rather than that. Um, so uh, there cannot be media that are free from manipulation. So it's a false ideal. Right? So that's a lie. The lie is it's possible in the media to have manipulation-free information. It's, it's simply not possible. And directly connected with this is the whole fake news thing. Of course, there are a lot of fake news and uh, that's a problem, but that doesn't mean that all other news that are not fake are the whole truth. Um, that, that's um, uh, also net, this Netflix movie or no, no channel, uh, no uh, media product uh, can tell you the truth as such. Um, that's a, it's a major theme in the movie and you have one of these uh, people saying, oh, the, we, there are truths that we all need to agree on, otherwise we are toast, we cannot deal with problems. And that's simply wrong, it's not true. <laughs> uh, there is no um, consensus on what is the case on anything. And yet society is capable of dealing with problems. That's what, how, what we do uh, all the time, right? We make decisions even though we're not in possession of the whole truth and definitely not uh, in agreement on everything. Uh, so uh, the idea that there is and needs to be a truth that everyone can agree on and that, that this has to be established through the media is again a total falsehood. Right. Uh, if you uh, if you have a media that allows uh, a lot of participation, as the current structure of the media do, uh, then uh, this kind of truth ideal is a fake ideal. It's impossible to get it, and, and uh, it's 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 not even desirable. So that's that's a second lie, right? That uh, that there is truth, and that it can be established and needs to be established through the media, and that somehow Netflix can help us to find this truth. That's a lie.
Uh, and and the, th uh, the third um, lie, uh, again, has a lot to do with the uh, first and the second one, with manipulation and truth, is this ideal of independence, a very American ideal, freedom and independence, right? Uh, so the idea is that, um, okay, uh, if you're not manipulated, if no one manipulates you, uh, then you're independent, right? Then you're not depending on anyone else and that uh, somehow uh, the media, that, that's an old story of the media, that they are supposed to help people to become more independent. But again, uh, that's entirely not the case. Uh, the media, uh, as they function nowadays, they're called uh, a web or a net network, right? Uh, and that's exactly the opposite uh, of independence. Everyone and everything in the media is connected with something else and with a lot. <laughs> it, there, there doesn't exist an, an independent information or an independent source of information or an, inde an, an independent fact or an independent individual as a media uh, communicator. Right? Everything is somehow connected with everything else. That's why we call it a web or a network. So this, this old American ideal of independence and creating ever more independence through media or in media that is now somehow um, threatened by how we use the media and that we somehow have to save and get closer to, that's also a lie. Uh, it's also false. So these are three major, major falsehoods uh, that, um, that the movie, uh, um, that, that, that constitute the basic narrative of the movie. Mm. So what is, in your opinion, the real social dilemma? Let's say, first explain what the movie says the yeah. dilemma is, which I think is not true. Yeah. Uh, the movie says that the dilemma is uh, the media were created with the best intentions, right? They wanted to give people more freedom, uh, to um, enable people to connect in a more meaningful way and to increase democracy. And then somehow this was all screwed up through misuse or abuse uh, of the media and we now have to go back to the kind of the good um, a good use of the media um, that's the kind of the dilemma they're saying it was created for good intentions only but resulted in mostly bad results um, and um, the the real dilemma is however performatively demonstrated by the movie uh, namely that the movie pretends to be sort of outside of the media and take an outside position and tell us what's wrong with the media. Whereas, as we saw right in the beginning, as many viewers immediately realize, uh, the dilemma is that they are inside the media and, and that, they, that it is not possible to get outside of the media. Every communication, including this interview right now that we're having, if it is to have an effect on society, it will have to go through the media. Uh, that is, it reinforces uh, all the media structures that we just talked about, right? So the real dilemma is that every critique against the media has to go through the media and thereby reinforces, confirms, affirms in, one, in a performative way, in a practical way, that with it, which, it, which it critiques. So simply put, the dilemma of the media is that there is no outside. There is no outside position. And again, like the movie falsely pretends that such an outside position is possible. And actually, and this is what's, what's actually the most mean thing about it, that it tries to portray thereby itself to build up a profile of itself, of Netflix, uh, as uh, being somehow different from all other media products, right? Uh, and so it gives you the impression, okay, if you watch, uh, it, it gives the Netflix brand, uh, the Netflix profile, and I, uh, kind of the, um, it, that's what it tries to do. It brands it at being different from all the other media. But of course, in essence and structure, it's exactly uh, the same. Uh, so, and it's, it, there is no way outside, to go outside of the media, within the media, and that is the actual social dilemma. Mm. Uh, and uh, I mean, the, the, I think really, as I said, I'm trying to highlight this once more, I think that that's uh, really what, A, if not 
the main intention of of this movie is 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 Netflix branding is to brand Netflix as the good media company as opposed to all the the others who sell you fake news and who make you addicted uh, and uh, who um, use data mining and surveillance technologies and as if Netflix wouldn't really do that they do it in just exactly the same way they just try with this movie to give them a profile that portrays them falsely as uh, somehow being outside at the same time when then in fact they are they are inside and I think again that's like the real dilemma. What can we do about this dilemma? Um, what, what we can do is first of all not build these false descriptions, uh, these false uh, descriptions about um, a, a truth that we need to get close to and that we everyone needs to agree on, not the false truth of, of uh, we, we can be free of manipulation, um, not the false truth we can become more and more independent, but what we can become, uh, we can become more aware of what's actually going on. We can become more aware of our own embeddedness in these media st structures of, of our, and within this structure, because we cannot go outside, we can develop more critical attitude. The good thing that the stupid viewer gets out of the movie is, as I said, maybe they use their iPhones less. Mm -hmm. uh, the critical viewer, like uh, for instance, the, the person I quoted at the beginning, can develop a critical attitude by watching this movie to this movie mm -hmm. and seeing how hypocritical it is. Uh, and in this way, we can develop a much deeper critical attitude uh, towards our own embeddedness uh, in, um, in the media world. We cannot get outside, but we can be inside with a more critical mind and with, we can have much more critical uh, habits of our own um, you know, attitude towards the media and, and of our own uh, usage towards the media. So um, that's something I think against the intentions of the movie. What the movie can also, what the movie is also uh, somehow uh, can be good for. Another question that I just came up, because after the movie, Facebook has uh, responded to the movie mm. and saying that they are not presenting the truth entirely. And obviously Facebook has their side. So my question is, what is in your opinion? Can the companies do about this dilemma or the government can do about the dilemma? Yeah, I think one radical thing to do, but something that would be entirely possible to do, would be a decommodification of all media, which would mean deprivatization. Mm. There shouldn't be for-profit media. Mm. Uh, there was something when I grew up in Germany, um, TV and radio stations uh, were all non-profit, not run by the government directly, but government funded through some form of tax and there were no private media. So media were public. Uh, and I think something similar could easily be done uh, with, with all the social media. So what should Netflix do? Netflix should dissolve itself and become public, a non-profit uh, organization. And the same thing, of course, for Facebook and, and all, all of these other platforms. I think that would be, uh, would be a huge step that would address a lot of these problems. Uh, the commodification, the addiction thing, uh, and also um, the fake news issue. Right? So uh, I'm in favor of uh, um, you can even call it a kind of a new, new Marxist approach. Uh, there shouldn't be any private property in the in the media realm, and I think that would already go a very long way to to address this. And that would be a re again. So, what should Netflix do? They should um, they should dissolve themselves as a as a for profit company. So, do you have any other additional thought on this? Mm. No, I think that's it for yeah. now. Thank you very much, uh, yeah. this uh, insightful interview. Thank, Thank you. you.